Launch director on countdown one. SpaceX, Falcon Heavy, go for launch. Hello and welcome back to Alex SpaceX Talks. Today with another breaking news episode. It has been way too long since SpaceX's largest rocket in use, the mighty Falcon Heavy, roared to the skies. But now the wait is finally over. SpaceX has assembled its Falcon Heavy rocket at the Kennedy Space Center for its first launch in 40 months. The upcoming Falcon Heavy rocket mission, codenamed USSF-44, was originally scheduled to launch in late 2020, but had been delayed for nearly two years. The United States Space Force, or USSF, has released little information about what the Falcon Heavy rocket will carry into orbit on its mission. One of the payloads assigned to the launch on this mission, however, is a microsatellite named Tetra-1. Built by Millennium Space Systems, the subsidiary of Boeing, the small spacecraft is designed to prototype missions and tactics, techniques and procedures in and around geosynchronous Earth orbit, Space Force officials said. Military officials have released no additional details about Tetra's long mission. The original procurement statement the Pentagon released to prospective launch providers for the USSF-44 mission indicated the mission would launch two satellites. The Falcon Heavy is expected to deliver those satellites to a high-altitude geosynchronous orbit. The rocket's upper stage will fire several times to place the satellites into position more than 22,000 miles above the equator. The upper stage will conduct several burns within five hours, therefore making the mission one of SpaceX's most demanding launches yet. SpaceX will use three newly manufactured boosters for this mission. The challenging launch profile will leave no leftover propellant to recover the center core of the Falcon Heavy. The core stage will be expanded on this mission while the rocket's two side boosters will return to SpaceX's recovery zone at Cape Canaveral. Falcon Heavy is currently the most powerful operational rocket in the world. It consists of two strap-on boosters made from Falcon 9 first stages, a center core also made from a Falcon 9 first stage and a second stage on top. Falcon Heavy has the highest payload capacity of any currently operational launch vehicle and the third highest capacity of any rocket ever to reach orbit. SpaceX conducted Falcon Heavy's maiden launch in February 2018. The rocket carried a Tesla Roadster belonging to SpaceX founder Elon Musk with a dummy dubbed Starman in the driver's seat as a dummy payload. A year after the successful demo flight, SpaceX had signed five commercial contracts worth around 750 million US dollars meaning that it had managed to cover the development cost of the rocket. The second flight, and first commercial one, occurred in April 2019, launching Arabsat 6A, with all three boosters landing successfully for the first time. The third flight occurred in June 2019, launching the Space Test Program payload. Additionally, Falcon Heavy will support commercial missions for the Artemis program, since it will be used to transport the Dragon XL spacecraft to the Lunar Gateway. It was also selected to launch the first two elements of the Lunar Gateway on a single launch in November 2024. But let's first keep our fingers crossed for a successful wet dress rehearsal, followed by static fires, and then hopefully lift off on October 31st, which is, yeah, you're right, Halloween. If you are interested in following the launch, then please click on the link in the video description below. In the meantime, I wish you all a wonderful weekend and see you soon in my next video. Go SpaceX, go Falcon Heavy, ciao!